Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Erica and this is where strong love grows. Um, today we are going to declutter my dresser. Um, I don't, I don't even know what to start to say. Most of my, most of my laundry fits into this one dresser, which I think is a pretty good accomplishment. Like I know people who have a full closet and a full dresser and, um, you know, I, you should have seen where I started at. Whenever we moved into this house, had far too much clothing and I really, really pared it down. I had a lot of clothing that I was holding on to because, um, long story short, short story long. I don't know. Anyways, whenever I was in high school, I was much thinner than I am now. I am also a fairly tall woman. Like I am five, eight, five, eight and a half. And I'm all leg. Like it's just the way it is. I have a pretty short torso and really long legs. So whenever, um, I buy jeans, I have to buy extra long, uh, like, in inches, you know, whenever you buy like 31, 32 or 32, 32 or 33 or whatever. Um, I think 33 is like normal, like, you know, considered normal length legs. It's what regulars usually are. Um, and then 35 is usually long. Um, I, I can buy 35 if I don't want to wear anything other than sandals or flats with them. And then if I want to wear, you know, like boots or tennis shoes or something that's not flat, <laughs> they have to be 36. So, um, anyways, I had all of these very expensive. You can imagine buying like expensive, your custom jeans that are 36 inches long can get kind of pricey. So I have a bun. I had a box of size sizes that are much smaller than I am um, jeans that were all 36 inches long that I just could not get myself to get rid of mostly because of the investment like those jeans I probably had you know I don't know $2,500 worth of jeans that I didn't want to get rid of because $2,500 is not a small amount of money. Okay, so um, I'm going to explain to you what I'm doing right this exact second. This is a white t-shirt. I cannot wear white. I mean, I can wear white. It looks fine on me. But I cannot wear white because I will stain it. I have this white t-shirt. I used it in family photos. That's the only time I have worn it. I strongly debated getting rid of it. However... I'm afraid I might need it for family photos again, <laughs> so I kept it just in case. Um, I'm normally not a just in case kind of person, but it is a nice white t-shirt. Um, it is unstained. because I don't know how I managed to do it. I wore it for, I don't know, probably five hours. Um, most of that was in the car, so I... Um, did keep that and I put it down in my bottom drawer, which is where I put things that like, I don't actually use in my wardrobe, like in, in the clothes that I'm wearing on a regular basis. So right now I'm just sorting out between my chore t-shirts and my like nice t-shirts. I have a farm ish farm ish I don't know what you want to call it a homestead a farm a I have chores that I do outside that require that I not wear nice clothes while I'm doing them um sometimes I see people sharing about their um you know like oh this is my minimalist wardrobe I'm like what the freak do you clean your house in like oh you have a bunch of nice pieces of clothing I only have 33 pieces of clothing clothing cool but um, what do you clean your house in? Because I'm sure, certainly not wearing a nice button-down blouse to scrub my toilets. Um, also, you know, I spend time outside in my garden and 
once we get our chickens, we'll spend time outside tending to chickens and cows and building fence and mowing the yard. Like I'm not wearing my nice clothes outside to do those things. So I have right now, right now I have three, three types of clothes. I have, um, my chore clothes. So that, you know, entails like raggedy t-shirts and stained t-shirts that I've moved from my nicer clothes. I also have my work clothes, which heavily overlaps from, you know, my casual clothes that I wear for like personal outings. Um, I, I, I mean, I have casual clothes, some of the clothes, like for instance, I have some jeans that are holy that I cannot wear to work. I have some casual clothes that are strictly casual. I have some business clothes. I'm not going to wear my black business pants to a lunch date with my mom, unless I just got off of work. <laughs> like I, that's just not, not what I'm going to do. So someday in the future there will be a self-employed Erica someday, not any time in the near future, um, where I will not require business clothes and I will likely get rid of probably all but one pair of my work pants and any of my other work specific clothing that I would not wear as casual wear. Um, I mostly have black t-shirts and I actually am due to get another package, I guess, of black t-shirts because some of them have had bleach stains and such. I also recently ordered myself, um, okay, pause because I am going to take some things out of here and put it into my dresser. Now I've now made enough space in my top drawer to put my sweatshirts. Um, if you want to know my, uh, what is it? Toxic trait. <laughs> I have no problem doing the laundry, but, um, whenever I get behind and part of putting away the laundry is hanging up the laundry, I do not like to hang up the laundry. If it's just one piece, you know, like if I've washed the laundry and there's like a shirt that needs hung up or two cardigans or just something minimal, I'll go ahead and hang it up. If I get done doing the laundry and there's 15 pieces of clothing to be hung up, which usually is during the winter, like during the winter is whenever that really kind of bulks up because I'm wearing sweaters and cardigans and my husband's wearing hoodies for work because he works outside. Um, whenever that is the situation, that's whenever I don't hang up the clothes. Um, and then they end up piled here next to the door. <laughs> and, um, I'm doing this before I go out for mother's day. I mean, it took me like, I don't know, 20 minutes, maybe, maybe a little bit longer. These shorts, they're a little shorter than I would like. I don't like where they hit me in the leg. Um, but I'm going to keep them for the summer. And if I don't wear them by the end of the summer, then I will get rid of them. In this drawer is all of my athletic and leisure wear, I guess, is athleisure. <laughs> it's not cute athleisure. Um, I have four pairs of long athletic pants, four pairs of capri athletic pants. I have two pairs of sweatpants. And then I have some like bike shorts and then some regular like track short type things. Um, and then I have a few pairs of just casual shorts. I think four, I have four pairs, a pair of longer denim ones, a pair of shorter denim ones, the ones that I'm, you know, that I said I'm going to get rid of if I don't wear by the end of the summer, a pair of linen shorts, and then a pair of like, I don't, they look kind of remind me of cargo shorts, but they're not long. They're medium length. So anyways, this is my pants drawer. I have three pairs of these same black pants. 
Um, and then I have all of those jeans, plus the jeans I'm wearing, plus this black pair of jeans. So um, those are all of my jeans. <laughs> I did recently purchase, I was influenced <laughs> to buy these um, stretchy jumpsuits. I bought two of them. I thought I bought green and not this blue color, but apparently I bought blue. It's fine. Um, they are so comfortable. I have had a jumpsuit um, sitting in my Amazon cart for years. Like I just didn't have the guts to buy it because I just didn't really think it would look good on me, but they are comfortable. And so I just Every time I looked at it, I'm like, uh, I don't, I don't need it, but I really want it. Anyways, on Pinterest, I mean, I've seen them on, you know, like Facebook and Instagram, but like on Pinterest, I have seen, um, I mean, that's where I see them the most. And there was one girl who was a little more plus size. She, like she, the whole ad was like, if you're a plus size person and you like jumpsuits, you should give this a try. Anyways, I finally was like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy these. So I bought them. I think they came from Accidrend. I don't know. Somewhere in China. I actually tried to buy some on Amazon that looked similar. They had zero stretch. Zero. Like, they literally would not even go on my body because um, I got wide hips. They did not. They would not go on my body. And then I finally just ended up clicking on the ad and buying through the link in their ad. Okay, so this has been a goal of mine to get my sweatshirts into my drawer. Yes, I probably have too many sweatshirts. Do I care? No. Um, <laughs> I actually wear sweatshirts quite a bit. Like it's easy to be wearing like shorts and a t-shirt. And then if I get chilly, which I am a very cold natured person, like very cold natured. Um, so, you know, somebody else might be sweating. Sometimes 75 is too cold for me. Like, don't judge. <laughs> but um, sweatshirts are nice because you can just throw them on over the clothes that you're already wearing. And so I have a handful of sweatshirts. I have recently acquired some new ones because a local girl, I can link her down in the description. Um, she has been making t-shirts and donating. I don't remember what it is, like some percentage of her profits to um, the Remy run, which is like a pregnancy loss and miscarriage awareness organization. Um, anyway, she makes really cute shirts. Uh, this is one of them. I think I have two, no, two, three t-shirts, two t-shirts. Um, no, I have three, four, three. I'll go grief. I have three t-shirts and I have mm, one, two, three sweatshirts as well. Um, I have this rainbow one in, um, uh, words. I have this rainbow one in a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. And then I have two of these sweatshirts. I have one in black and one in green. Um, She's, she sells a lot of her t-shirt t-shirts in this color sand and the color white, which is really hard for me because if you've not heard my spiel, I cannot wear white because I will stain it almost immediately after I get it. And sand is just about as bad. Like one of my t-shirts is already stained. But one of the t-shirts, the one that had like the tan rainbows on it, um, that one's black. So I wear it all the time and I don't have to worry about it. Right now I'm contemplating, how am I going to make this last t-shirt or sweatshirt fit in here? Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> so I am, I'm a large person, obviously. Uh, I wear, I mean, I can fit into an extra large. However, I prefer 2XL because that, you know, like that's what's most comfortable. I'm all about comfort. Um, one of the sweatshirts that I put into this drawer, I, I mean, it fits physically on my body. Does it look cute? No. One of the sweatshirts is large. So I'm going to pull that one out 
It's not something that I can easily donate because it has my family's last name on it. So like, it's not like I can just donate that. Um, I would like to eventually fit back into it. Is that going to happen? I don't know, but I am going to keep it. So I am going to pull out the large sized sweatshirt. That would be this gray one right here. And I'm going to put this green one in there. And funny story, whenever I do my closet, I find another sweatshirt. It's fine. I just hang it up in the closet. It is also one that I will not get rid of because it is probably my favorite sweatshirt. I mean, my longest. <laughs> I say that. It, it is one of my favorite sweatshirts. So it's a chief sweatshirt that I stole from my mom whenever I moved out for college. It is like, it's a men's extra large and it's like a tall man sweatshirt. So it's like long and it is my favorite. So anyways, I'm just going to put this shirt down here at the bottom. Like I said, okay, this is the finished product. If you watch my husband's um, dresser declutter, which I didn't really declutter that much. Um, we like to fold stuff con Marie style. Just it, it really works out well. And um, you can kind of see what it is that you have. Um, this is my, I had to not explain this. This is my once worn drawer. So if I wear a pair of jeans out and they're not actually dirty, I'll just throw them in here and wear them again later. And then this is my pajama drawer. Pajamas are on the right. And then these are the clothes that like I'm keeping that neon colored shirt is actually for not for profit that I'm part of. It's my staff shirt. And so I don't wear that to make outfits. I just wear that for that event. Um, I, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope this gave you just a little bit of motivation to declutter one small area of your home, one drawer, one closet, one shelf, one dresser, anything. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you next time. Bye y'all.